Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with another short video, and today I want to talk about fasting, growth hormone, and is fasting anabolic? So, um, uh, this stemmed from a, a really funny post I saw from my friend Dr. Darren Willoughby um, talking about this subject, and essentially uh, there's some people out there who have claimed that you should uh, fast after a workout because uh, fasting is anabolic, or you should go into a workout fasted because fasting is anabolic, because it, uh, when you fast, there's a, a release of growth hormone. So a few things with that. Uh, first off, fasting is not anabolic. So if you look at uh, rates of muscle protein synthesis, um, you will see that when you uh, go from fed <clears throat> after a meal to post-absorptive period, which is basically where you're no longer absorbing nutrients, into a fast, which is a few hours past that, um, you will see rates of muscle protein synthesis decline. So by definition, muscle protein synthesis is the construction of new muscle proteins. That is anabolic. So doing something that causes that to decline is not going to be anabolic. Now, I'm not saying that it's crazy catabolic. Um, some people like fasting. Some people prefer to train that way. Some people feel better that way. There is, there's nothing wrong with that. Is it optimal for anabolism? I don't think so. Um, but if you prefer to train that way, like for example, uh, Holly, my director of nutrition, I think she's crazy, but she likes to train fasted. So um, she doesn't train well when she has a lot of food on her stomach. Um, and so, you know, for her, that makes the most sense. For me, I hate training uh, if I haven't had a lot to eat. <laughs> so I think that boils down to a little bit more personal preference. But as far as like the actual physiological outcome, no, uh, fasting is not anabolic. And it doesn't make sense from a teleological perspective. Why would you... Building muscle, muscle protein synthesis, is a very energetically expensive process. It requires ATP. Why would you then want to... Uh, expend all that energy if you were fasted, if you were telling your body that you're low on energy and your body's working to conserve energy, why would it then ramp up muscle building? That doesn't make any sense. Um, further, as far as growth hormone rising while you're fasting, yes, it does rise, but growth hormone is not anabolic. Um, particularly with regards to skeletal muscle. Um, if you look at the studies, even when they, so first off, physiological, short-term physiological transient increases in hormones don't make a difference. Even short-term rises and falls in testosterone do not make a difference for anabolism. There's a lot of data out there to prove that or to support that, uh, especially if you look at some of Dr. Stu Phillips' work. But let's, let's just say like even injectable growth hormone, there are studies looking at this, Injectable growth hormone is not anabolic to skeletal muscle. Um, the research shows that when you give a uh, growth hormone, that you see an increase in lean body mass, but that increase in lean body, lean body mass is not the same thing as muscle mass. The increase in lean body mass is from one, connective tissue, and two, increasing total body water, okay? It does not increase muscle mass. So, if you're doing things to increase growth hormone, um, stop. The, it is 100% it is a fuel mobilization response in response to fasting. Now, um, again, if you like to fast, uh, if you want to fast because you feel better or it helps you create a caloric deficit, that's fine. But it is not anabolic. Fasting is not anabolic. Growth hormone from fasting is also not anabolic. All right, guys, if you like this video, make sure to like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.